n cube minus 11 n square plus 32 n minus 28 greater than 0. The smallest integer n, see n cube is powerful. So if you put 100 or then n cube will kill everything else. These are reasonable coefficients and n cube is very powerful. So if n cube is positive, n cube is way more powerful than n square, way more powerful than n. So if you put n cube as 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, the larger you take n cube to, the more dominant the cube idea will become. So this is going to become bigger and bigger, the more the higher n gets. When it's a curve that's open-ended, it's going to become larger and larger with increasing n. We can sense that. I mean, there are multiple ways of doing this. One would be to just plonk in a value of n and then go from there. My favorite is probably n equal to 10, which is 1000 minus 1100 plus 320 minus 28. 1000 minus 1100 minus 100 plus 320 minus 28. This works. Now maybe 9 will work, maybe 8 will work. I would like to skip to 8 and then come back and check 9. If 8 works, then I can go lower. So this is 512 minus 11 into 64 plus 32 into 8 minus 28. So 512 minus 704 plus 32 into 8 is 256 minus 28. So 512 plus 256 is 867. 704 plus 28 is 732. So 512 plus 256 is greater than 704 plus 28. So 8 works. Already I'm beginning to sense that 7 won't work. When so 8 works, this is this close. So the, 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 the more dominant n is, n cube is, larger number should be higher. 8 works and 8 is this close. So 7 probably won't work. Let's check it out any which way. So 343 minus 11 into 49 plus 32 into 7 minus 28 greater than 0. Is this true? 49 into 11, 490 plus 49 is 539. So 343, 539, 28, 32 into 7, 7 twos are 14, 4, 1, 7 threes are 21 plus 1, 22. Let's add these through. 3 plus 4 is 7. 4 plus 2 is 6. 567. I have a gut feeling this will be 567. So 7 is equal to 0. 8 works. An increasing sequence. So the smallest integer that works is 8. The other way of thinking about it is substituting small values and seeing if it can something factorize it. So P of X by X minus A reminder is 0. So we can look to factorize this if we can minus to find a factor. So we have n cube minus 11 n square plus 32 n minus 28. If you put n equal to 1, 1 minus 11 plus 32 minus 28. That's up to 39, that's up to 33, doesn't work. 2, 8 minus 44 plus 64 minus 28. 72, 72, yeah, this works. So this number, n cube minus 11n square plus 32n minus 28 is a multiple of n minus 2. We can factorize this. n square goes here, n cube minus 2n square. So minus 9n square plus 32n minus 9n minus 9n square plus 18n. We'll have 14n minus 28 plus 7. Sorry, plus 14. This is 14n minus 28. Or our expression is n minus 2 into n square minus 9n plus 14. Or it is n minus 2 into n minus 2 into n minus 7. When will this be greater than 0? When n is greater than 7.
when n is 7 it will be greater than 0 uh, when n hits between 2 and 7 it will be negative what happens when n is 1 very interesting when n is 1 is 1 cube minus 11 plus 32 into 1 minus 28 1 minus 11 plus 32 minus 28 this is 33 minus 39 which is minus 6 this doesn't work when n is 1 uh, when n is 3 4 5 it won't work when n is 1 these two are negative this is negative all three are negative it doesn't work between 3 and 7 it doesn't work these two will be positive this is negative the smallest integer that will work for is the integer 8.